What's up, everybody? I have an awesome Dollar Tree haul for y'all. And it starts with this weird little baby blanket. It was so cute, I had to get it. And you already know, it's because it's got rainbows on it. It's actually a really pretty pink color um, with stars and clouds all over it. Super cute. And it's uh, 30 by 30 inches, so I thought that was pretty awesome. Decent size. I was just going to use it for, like, backgrounds in a video. <laughs> you know. Love that, though. And then I found all kinds of weird stuff. Like, I was going to do something with these. And, like, give one to everybody in their Easter basket. And I forgot. So that's how long I've had these up in here. It's these little emojis. They're like uh, little beanie babies. See, there's the devil, the nerd, the crybaby, bitch. <laughs> but I just thought they were so cute. You know, and they're supposed to sit up like that. It's dark. Too weird. Little emoji beanie babies. Like, this stuff is from forever ago, and I just never got to show anybody. Never got to put it away, so I might as well just add it with the stuff that I bought currently. So, I uh, bought these a while ago, and I think they're so cute. Super cute socks that say, you complete me, and it's got fries and ketchup. Love those. And then, of course, I found all kinds of makeup. Like, I found this wet and wild uh, eyeshadow palette and a bunch of purple colors I don't know if you can tell but it's really pretty all kinds of purples wet and wild color icon what does it say in the shade floral values then I found this Wet n Wild Mega Cushion Foundation. That was a pretty good product to find at the Dollar Tree. Why not? And it's actually in a shade that matches me. So that's sweet. Love that. And then I found a bunch of these uh, setting sprays, but I had to go to different stores to get them. So I found this. Uh, Hard Candy 12 Hour Long Wear Setting Spray. And like this whole bag right here. This whole bag of stuff is from a second store. Like I found this uh, Hard Candy Primer Mist. Thought that was pretty cool. Pretty sure I bought a couple of those. Yeah. A couple of those. 12 hour power hydrating primer mist found this primer too hard candy sensitive skin primer and these are all like $5 products at least and uh, I heard that hard candy is just changing their packaging so a lot of these products are dropping at the dollar store now I found this really cool hard candy metal glaze 12 hour intense liquid foil you can use it on your brows and your eyes and your lips really pretty bronze color of course i can't see what the shade says let's see rose gold really pretty here's another uh setting spray a couple more of those this is the 12 hour mattifying setting spray had to get I wanted to get all of them honestly to see if they did anything differently like each time you know they're all different like this one says 12 hour protection uh, defend sheer envy setting spray charcoal to detoxify anti blue light anti pollution anti oxidant I don't know it looked interesting though hard candy stay in line 12 hour waterproof mechanical gel eyeliner and it's in waterproof black so there we go and then there's this 
another one of these little beanie babies. Can you tell? Ma, it's Patrick from SpongeBob SquarePants. Of course, I couldn't find the SpongeBob to go with it, but I thought it was cool to go with the other ones. And all of this was inspired by my recent trip to the dollar store. A lot of people were talking about these uh, body washes from Speedstick. So I wanted to check them out. There's Lady Speedstick and this one just says Speedstick. But uh, full size body washes. This man's one is in Sandalwood Smash. It actually smells really good. If you like Sandalwood, that's basically what it smells like. And this one is Exotic Blooms. Definitely smells floral like perfume. I think both of them kind of smell like perfume, honestly. It smells pretty good though, for a buck. Why not? I got those to try out. And then I found these ones too. I thought they looked really nice. Never tried this, so I wanted to. And they smelled really good. You know, you already know. I opened them up and smelled them in the store. That's the kind of person I am. They ain't got no safety seal on them, so you might as well open it and smell it. This one is cool melon scented. And this one is sweet cherry. They both smell like candy, though, honestly. Like, this cherry one smells so good like candy. Cool melon just smells like, you know, cucumber type scent. But these are also, like, these big 15 fluid ounce full-size bottles, so... I thought that was cool. I already tried the uh, melon one and I liked it. So I have high hopes for the cherry scented one. And then I found a few weird items. Really don't even know like uh, what I'm doing with a couple of them. But I had to get these. Look at these novelty sunglasses. They probably ain't going to block any sun. But how cute are those? And they're huge. Huge pink flower glasses. I look so cute in these. <laughs> uh, I bought this to put in the Christmas box. So I don't know who I'm going to give it to yet. But it's going to go in the Christmas box. Because it's a Barbasol ear and nose hair trimmer. So if you didn't know, this is at least a $10 item. And it's still like online for $10. But... They're showing up at Dollar Trees across America, and they're only a dollar, y'all. So, if you need something for somebody, there's a good little gift idea. See, I was excited to find this, too. This Milani Retouch and Erase Concealer. And I thought, oh, it looks like it might be light enough, but no. Shade 05 Honey is literally orange. So, if anybody's looking for this Milani Concealer... Just, just know that number five, honey, is like super orange toned. Here's another dud, dud of a find. Okay, hard candy, iridescent pearl highlighter. Like, uh, I had to put a lot on for this to even show up. And it had like a white cast and purplish like pink fuchsia glitter. So really, to me, it was just very glitter. And um, it really was not even worth a dollar. Iridescent effect on skin. Prismatic highlighter. Number 1244. That's what it says. Thought it looked really pretty. Thought it would be a cool find. But really it's super glittery. And uh, has a white cast. I don't know. I didn't like it. Didn't. Not for me. But you know. If you like weird highlighters. That might be for you. But... Speaking of highlighters, there is this super pretty hard candy fox in a box highlighter. And it smells like a pina colada. It actually does too. It really does. I opened it up and swatched it. And it's a really pretty um, champagne toned highlighter. It says marbleized baked highlighter. I don't think there is a shade name for it. But... Uh, Glamour Girl, right there. 1342 Glamour Girl. Really pretty, though. And it definitely smells like a pina colada, so... I thought that was sweet. 
The only thing I don't like is the packaging is super bulky. You know. But I love that. They had all kinds of Wet n Wild products. A ton of them. Like if you like Wet n Wild liquid eyeshadows. They're at Dollar Tree right now. They had a ton of them. All. Matte colors, shiny colors. All kinds of different shades. And uh, I own a bunch of those already. So... I really didn't need any of them that were there. Probably should have got some of the matte ones, but I did find some of these lipsticks. These are the ones I found. The Wet n Wild Mega Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit. Like this one's a matte lipstick. I already own this one too, and it's in the shade Lavender Crown. It's really just like a gray tone. Lavender tone gray. I don't know. It's very gray though But I like this shade really weird different interesting And uh, then I got these ones that are like uh, Metallic lipsticks. Yep. Mega last liquid cat suit metallic lipsticks and I don't know. I don't think I own any of these shades. So that was cool. These were all $5 lipsticks showing up at Dollar Tree this one's called Once in a Bronze Moon 964. A Once in a Bronze Moon. Really pretty. All three of these are metallic lips too. I love me some metallic lipstick. This one's called 960 Honey Glaze. And they also have new stickers on them, so I don't know what's up with that, but Honey Glaze. Really pretty champagne tone. And the last thing in the bag is this Hard Candy Velvet Mousse Matte Lip Color in the shade Sweet Pea. This was the only one I could find at my Dollar Tree, but a lot of people were hauling this product. And um, it's coming in all kinds of like wearable shades. So That was it for my Dollar Tree haul. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.